what a mess I've got made here. This is my Dana 60 front differential that I'm going to end up putting in my 95 Dodge. This one's out of a 99 or 2000. I think they're all the same up to 2001. Uh, 354 gear ratio, but I got a mountain of parts to install. Axle joints, I pulled the axles out. Wheel bearings, of course the wheel bearings were seized in. I got, I think, two of the four bolts out of the wheel bearings um, with a lot of heat and a lot of persuasion. And the other ones I had to burn the heads off and like my good friend Scott, who works at the shop where I work, or I own actually, he says you can't fight me if you're a liquid. So I light the torch and I burn the heads off and that doesn't stand that much of that. So the junk area that took this rear end out uh, just sheared the control arms off. If they had a bolt that caused them any grief at all, they just cut everything off with a torch. So, or a um, reciprocating saw. So that uh, might, may or may not save me some work. At least I'll be able to get those bolts out without burning the, the brackets, I hope. It looks like it's got some broken bolts as well in the actuator. You can see this actuator, somebody had split that. Um, I have a cable manual actuator which I'm going to show you what that looks like when it shows up so I can pull a cable from under the dash and it will engage this uh, these two axles together and the idea behind that is two it, one one issue is it eliminates this problematic vacuum uh, actuator it's uh, this is a little slow to engage and sometimes you need that instant engage if you're stuck somewhere but that I don't plan to get in those situations I'm not an off-roader to speak of them this is going to be a work truck, but there's going to be times when uh, I want two-wheel drive low so I can leave this disengaged and then engage my transfer case into two-wheel drive low. And then I'll be able to back a trailer up slow and gentle and not uh, slip the clutches in the transmission and tear somebody's lawn up, putting their firewood or their lumber where they actually want it. So this rear end is in great shape. The spring purchase are good. Nothing's been uh, tampered with. I'm going to give this a good wire wheel. Uh, treatment and some black paint and make it uh, make it look all right and at least clean it up and uh, be happy with the way it looks in there and the bearings are good I had the uh, the hogs head apart on the other end of it I didn't have the pinion out but it feels buttery smooth um, I think these Dana 60 rear ends are very robust so but I have calipers uh, new calipers and rotors and pads and wheel bearings and tie rods and um, adjuster sleeves for the um, uh, tie rod so I can do a proper alignment on it. Uh, I've got uh, sway bar links, I've got uh, long tie rods and drag links and a new track bar. So this this truck came with all the parts and it's, uh, it's going to be a fun project. So the truck is still being painted right now and as soon as it gets done I'll be able to get it back and start this assembly. I've got some motor parts to put on. I've got a it's called the killer dowel pin, which is the only thing that happens inside those 5.9 Cummins really that's catastrophic. And I got a lock kit for that if it hasn't been done already and transmission line kit coming from power driven diesel and also some valve cover gaskets. I want to adjust the valves. They likely have never been done. So other than that, I got uh, the bumper. I want to pressure wash the inside of the bumper off and put some black pour 15 on the inside of it just to try to save it. And I got some trim paint for the plastic pieces that go on the bumper and uh, Try to make it look like a nice little truck. It's, uh, it's worth that anyway. It's sort of a truck that I've dreamt about having for a long, long time. So I've got a, an aluminum box uh, for it. I just bought a brand new aluminum deck. I'll go show you that now. Just uh, stand by and I'll, I'll just gonna walk outside with you. So I brought this home from about uh, two hours away in Truro, which is, uh, well, I'm on the South Shore and they're right in the center of the province of Nova Scotia. I brought this, it's called, it's a Moritz box and they're made in Ohio and I was thrilled with this company for several reasons. One, it's an all aluminum box with steel rails that are adjustable that'll fit any, any truck I want to put it on. So if this truck, something happens to it that, who knows what, I hit a moose or something like that and write the truck off, I can put this box uh, if it survives on another truck. Um, this is seven foot wide by eight foot six long. It weighs about 400 pounds and it's uh, light as a feather obviously it has these stake pockets on the sides that we can put in two by fours so we can make um, a decent looking stake body with uh, lumber that i mill myself and make it a, a usable usable flat deck comes with the lights comes with an actual plug-in wiring harness that um, 
I ordered, when I got the box, they found me a 95, an old stock, 1995 harness plug, which is kind of nice. It's got a 20,000 pound gooseneck ball right in the middle, which is a trap door. But, uh, kind of excited over that. I never towed a gooseneck before. I mean, the trailer that this is sitting on is a bumper pull, and my dump trailer is a bumper pull, but someday maybe I'll be able to have a little sturdier trailer. Um, anyway, lights, headache rack, it all comes with it. It was a, a, a nice deal. Very happy with it. But the other reason that I was thrilled with it is when I opened that little trapdoor compartment, and then inside there was the wheel well, uh, the owner's manual in this, um, but in the Ziploc bag that hold the owner's manual and the, the wheel well uh, liner pieces for the back, and also the um, uh, what's it called? The mud flaps. <laughs> Got a text coming in the same time that I'm that I'm recording this, so it distracted me. But anyway, in that Ziploc bag was a Bible, and that thrilled me to no end. For I just tickled pink. Anybody that knows me knows that uh, that I'm an an avid uh, Christ follower, um, more than just a fan. And I write a, a daily scripture blog, or most days anyway, and text it to. A lot of people. So anyway, it's just been uh, nice to know that on my business card says chaplain. And when I saw that Bible, I, I re-gifted that Bible already to, to somebody this morning. So they can get a little bit of the truth in this uh, some somewhat dark age. That there's uh, some absolute positives that uh, they can get from it. Anyway, this is a plenty right now um, for me to talk about this truck until I get it back from paint. Which uh, I'll maybe put a couple of pictures on what it looks like with uh, the doors off and all blown apart. Anyway, thanks for listening to me ramble. Uh, over and out for now.